Hi there, Phil with Phil Effects again, and uh, going to do another quick tutorial. This one is uh, using Motion Sketch to create a motion path so you can animate an object along a path. This is uh, one of the built in features of After Effects, and it's very, very clever and uh, uh, very helpful when you're trying to animate objects and you have a set path that you know you'd like that object to move on but uh, uh, you want to be able to attach that object and have it follow that path. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the old animation that we had uh, first day of class where I've got a uh, star background and I'm animating the background and I'm leaving the X-Wing fighter here stationary and so we get an animation by just moving that background. In this case I want to change this all up and I want to create an animation where the uh, X-Wing fighter flies across the uh, star field and I want to do that by creating motion path. So let's get a new composition and I'll create this new composition and I want my comp to be about three seconds long. That's fine for what we're doing and let's call this uh, X-Wing uh, in space. Okay and so we have that so here's our uh, X-Wing in space and I'm going to want my star field again so I'll, let me put my star field in there and we need our X-Wing fighter so I take my X-Wing fighter and I bring him in here remember uh, top to bottom is front to back so I put the X-Wing on the top and he's a little big for us for what we're going to be doing right now so let me hit S for scale and uh, scale him down just a little bit and I want him to fly across the field so let's position him initially right here All right. Now what I want to do is I went in here and uh, I picked up a setup and I called uh, one of the uh, uh, setup panels called animation. And when I did that, it loaded up these three windows, Motion Sketch, Smoother, and Wiggler. Uh, I'm going to work with just Motion Sketch and Smoother today. But uh, so you want these two windows open. If you don't see them, you can go over to the window here and uh, you can see Smoother and you can see motion sketch and you can just select both of those windows and you want to bring them up I've got a fairly good big screen so I just put these by the side here so I can work with both of these and uh, so the first thing is motion sketch what this is going to do is you're going to hit start capture and you click on this object that you want to move through space and in X and Y and then you just drag it and you drag it across and the path that you make as you drag it will make the, the motion path that you want it to move in. And the duration is going to start at time zero. It's going to uh, stop at the moment. It's going to the uh, com composition length, which is three seconds. Uh, at the moment, it will show the background. And I'm going to leave that in. And it shows the object as a wireframe. All right. And you'll see what that means. And we're leaving this moving at uh, one and the capture speed at 100 and that's fine. So when I want to do a capture, uh, all I need to do is hit start capture and as soon as the next time I click the mouse it will start capturing. So I hit start capture, all right, it's not capturing anything yet, okay, and you can see the cursor if I place it over my uh, X-Wing fighter. Now I click and just start to drag and we get motion and there's this is the motion path that it created and it did it for three seconds so if I go in here and get my X-Wing fighter and hit P for position here's all these keyframes and you can see the keyframes that it grabbed and it created those to create this motion path Now, looking on this with the star background is a little confusing so let's turn that off so I turn that off and here is the motion path that it created all right and you can see each one of these points it is, uh, has Bezier handles, and I can go in and I can just grab this point and I can modify it and pull it, okay? Things like that. I can position it in space. I can go in here and uh, if I want to, if I'm looking at this right now, uh, I can see that I ended a little bit uh, premature here, and I'd like the end of this to actually be moved up. Well, how can I do that? Well, I go in here and I grab, uh, and I just do a drag selection. On these end keyframes not the beginning ones just the end ones and I can go in here and I can just start to pull those so I can see that so I pull that down just a little bit now what I want to do is just deselect this keyframe and leave the rest of those selected so the way I do that is I go in and I hold down the shift key 
and I click on this one right here all right and now I deselected that one you can see what I did okay I hold down shift I click on this one and so I'm, I'm expanding my curve here just a little bit okay and hold down shift deselect that one and so I'm making my curve go just a little bit bigger shift click and grab this oh, I grabbed the handle there don't want to do that let me grab this there we go so we have the whole thing shift click and then take all of this and I can pull this out and shift click I get the last couple ones here and we'll end just like that so there is my path and now if we take and we can see the spaceship goes across these all right yeah, a couple of things first off working with this many keyframes can be a little bit cumbersome let me select the whole thing and so you see the path but I've got quite a few keyframes in there and that makes it a little bit difficult to work with well uh, After Effects has the ability to automatically go in and remove essentially redundant keyframes ones that are not necessary all they're doing is adding a lot of complexity that makes it difficult for you to work with and the way it does it is this with smoother and so we go into this smoother and the default is to do a spatial path and that's found I found that that pretty much is exactly what you want and the tolerance usually comes up initially at uh, the tolerance of uh, one and that's not really what you want I did set the tolerance to somewhere between three or four and that usually is pretty good I'll, let me put it at three and I'll hit apply and look at what that did what that did is it removed a significant number of the keyframes and it makes it much easier to work with all right so now we can go in and we can see that it's essentially the same path but there's fewer keyframes and it makes it a lot simpler if i need to do edits on uh, what that path looks like now the last thing that's obviously wrong is if we look at the orientation of that ship uh, something wouldn't move through space like that right okay so we need to get it so it is following the path and following the path correctly well the way you do that is we go up to this layer and i hit my uh, right mouse button i right click on it and i go to transform and we go all the way down here where it says auto orient okay so i select that and i get a dialog box that comes up and it defaults to being off and we want to say orient along the path so I click orient along the path and I say okay and it starts and initially turns it right off the bat and then as you can see it's taking the ship and the ship is following the path with its orientation which is actually exactly what we want now what's going on initially is it's a little bit goofy there so I can fix that initial orientation if I hold down shift and R get my rotation I can rotate this initially so it's got a rotation that's a little more in the way that I would want to see it and then we start our animation and I can see that I, I'm, I got a little bit of things going on so what I can do actually is take my rotation and let's keyframe that so I have an, an initial rotation and it comes out and I really don't want it there so let me rotate this back a little bit the way I want it and now it's following the path see that so it follows the path correctly it orients itself to the path and we've easily created a motion path that we can now uh, animate our object through space and I can turn the uh, background on here and now we've got an animation uh, we did it by using a motion path we use motion sketch to create it and we use smoother to get rid of that the get rid of the redundant keyframes so hopefully this will help you out with creating motion path animations. This has been Phil with Phil Effects. Thanks a lot.